Let's compare blocking and non-blocking assignments using a flip-flop example. We have one flip-flop connected to an AND gate. The code uses blocking assignments. Q1 is assigned to D1, and Q2 is assigned to Q1 and D2. At time 0, Q1 is 0, and Q2 is 0. On the next rising clock edge, the inputs are D1 equals 1 and D2 equals 1. After the clock, Q1 becomes 1 and Q2 also becomes 1. Now let's look at a similar design, but this time written with non-blocking assignments. At time 0, Q1 is 0 and Q2 is 0. On the next rising clock edge, D1 is 1 and D2 is 1. After the clock, Q1 updates to 1, but Q2 stays 0 because it used the old value of Q1 before the update. And that's the key difference. Blocking assignments update in sequence one after another, while non-blocking assignments update in parallel at the end of the cycle.